Today I'm going to go over some automation tips. Uh, the first one I'm going to go over is if you don't have caps lock on, if you click B, it toggles between the mouse and the draw tool. Where the mouse, you can just move automation by clicking it. The draw tool lets you kind of layer and draw, but it's kind of crude. So to fix that, you can also hold down the Option or Alt key, and it lets you more precisely draw in an automation. This Precision Draw tool is only available when you have Draw Mode activated, or when you see the pencil. Now if I click B again, it switches back to the mouse. If I hold down Alt or Option now, then it'll draw a fade. You see this right next to the mouse, this little curve shows up and it allows me to do fades on my tracks. An easy way to automate a large portion is to highlight a section and then raise or lower it. If you come over here to the right, you'll notice a lot of red dots. These indicate which parameters I have automation on. So there's no automation on the pitch, but there is automation on silent right here. Now, like the reverb here, there's a lot of parameters that can be automated. I only have decay time and dry and wet. But if I want to consolidate all of them, there's an option right here that says show automated parameters only. So now the only parameters that show up are the ones that are automated. Now the last trick I'll show you today is if you go up to the top option, lock envelopes, it will lock the automation to, the pl to its place. So if you move the MIDI clip, the parameters stay there. When normally, if this lock envelopes is off, if you move a MIDI file, it moves the parameters with it. I hope this tutorial helped. If you have any questions or ideas for more tutorials, just let me know.